thank you very much for joining us this afternoon ladies and gentlemen give us a thumbs up if you like these videos uh, we are going to be looking at an auto cruise star dream this afternoon and this is just a walk round handover video of how to use the various bits and pieces on this van so we are going to start with the uh, conveniently opening cassette toilet door there it is i'm sure you guys now know how to operate these but little release key there slide it out off your toddle find a suitable place spin this bit round and do it one-handed there you go uh, take the top off and when you are releasing the liquid press that little button yellow button there to allow air into the cassette so that uh, it doesn't glug that reassuring click means that it's properly in and you are considerably less likely to get any leaks or other unpleasantries out of your toilet cassette so moving round the van um, over here we've got the water filling point so as you can see this one here we're going to show you the pipe that goes in there that is for your water in that's a filter the blue cap um, you can take that off change your filter if you really want to but I've got to say not many people drink water out of these tanks anyway um, but it's the one on the left with the two little spades that's your pump to pump water in uh, the one on the right is for a shower attachment to let your uh, to get get an external shower and in the back here there is your water pump pump the water in there's also some attachments there which I believe will give you the option to just fill the tank manually. Um, there's your water pump, should you ever need that. And there is a drain valve over there, the white thing to dump the water out of your freshwater tank. There's another drain valve at the back as well. So moving round, camera at the back, don't need to do anything with that. You've got another locker on this side. You can see there's your windy handle. which is for the canopy up there again remember with the canopies guys wind them out wind them out as short a distance as possible um, give it a little bit of support with the legs then wind it out the rest of the way lovely big gas locker plenty of room for two bottles in there your hook, electric hookup remember with these guys little release there on that flap this flap here does actually go inside. I see people regularly trying to put those on the outside and it doesn't work. So here an external 240 volt socket and at the front there's your locker for your, your, um, your heating system. This little valve here that dumps the water out of your hot water tank come the winter and diesel at the front here of course don't get mixed up don't fill the water tank with diesel It'll be very hard on this but there you go now inside oh that's better now then over here we've got your heating system um so it it can seem a little complex but it really isn't so this basically selects your fuel source whether it be gas electric big electric <laughs> uh, this side is electric and gas and that's maximum electric and gas so you've got to select a, a fuel supply and then up here that is your room stat so that's going to set the temperature in your van you've got to take it off zero and flick it I know this seems counterintuitive you've got to put it onto gas so this side is heating so that little flame is heating it looks like gas but that's heating alone and we have chosen electric as our source so it's a little confusing because that's a gas flame but that is heating that one there is heating and hot water and at the top we've got hot water only and hotter hot water so it's like a winter in a summer setting so there you go guys there is your heating setup um your control board over here i'm not sure if you can see what the screen actually says let's press some oh yeah it's lit up now so that's telling you what level the batteries are that turns your lights on and off tells you your ampage usage that's from solar which it doesn't have that's your water levels telling you the waste is okay and we've got a little bit of water that turns the water pump on 
just going to run for a short while there to top up that tank there are a whole load more settings on there but those are your key ones so let's not over complicate matters by talking about lots of things you're probably never going to use now moving over to the fridge as you can see it is partially open at the moment and you'll see that little catch there there are two different clasps that one is fully locked shut for transport and that one is just a jar for um, when you are not using the van just to make sure that fridge gets a bit of ventilation so turning the fridge on that's gas it's clicking away it's not going to light there's no gas on that's mains we've got a green light because it's worked straight away and that's 12 volt 12 volt supply is from the engine only so you will not get a 12 volt supply to this fridge unless the engine's running um, so that is for transport only so obviously uh, if you're hooked up you're running it on mains if you're in a field in the middle of nowhere you're running it on gas and while in transit you're running it on the battery symbol that's your temperature setting so that really is it now there is a tv and all the bits and pieces there but i'm going to leave that to you guys to suss out how the tv works we've got various well we've got the service service book and various service receipts there we've got a whole load of other receipts for other habitation work and mot's in there that's our hab sheet log book and tucked away in the drawer here is some more handbooks for the van and these are handbooks for the actual motorhome side of it which includes your tv controls uh, and various other bits and pieces like the reverse camera that's been added very nicely over there as well um, so there we go guys ready to go uh, enjoy your new van and uh, you other guys that are watching if you'd like a new van too come and see us parkgate leisure thank you very much bye for now